This is truly the dancing player, Major Mackerel and the unruly coolie. How are them feel like? Them think them can't fool me. I want them to know so we are the best of them. The rest of them are the stress of them are what left of them. And for all of you haters, if me ugly like you, I beg that I ring out my face and put it to sun. Because pretty looks done, and you no get none. He looks done, and they no get none. Pretty looks are done, and no for they no get number one. A major mark for them, a virgin girl. Born and grow together, papi. And I said, pick up Dan Sinclair. And the unruly, coolly, Shetty. Every time. I don't know. Them say, you two. I want to get on YouTube live. Yeah. Yeah, Major McQueen, you know, the general of him said it to Papi. Yeah, yeah how do you do that? Okay, who rise and me set it money. and come back and come stay with the people, them. spend the money around them, never show off on them, never post from them. And we just want to say, you know, just big up the YouTube family. Big up Dan Sinclair and big up the Unruly Coley. You hear me Unruly Coley, I like your name. Like your looks, your shape and your frame. I hope your boyfriend, Liam. Bibi Bam. Bibi Bam. <laughs> welcome guys, welcome. Unruly Coley here representing the Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes. And I don't even know how to begin to introduce the gentleman we have in front of me, well, it's the legendary, real veteran. I'm going to make you say your name in your own style. We original Major Mark, you know? In Jamaica, it's truly a Major Mark and Rooly Cooly. Now on your art, for real. It is a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to my island of land, rum, wood and water. Yes. Strong black man, beautiful woman, reggae music, high grade weed. Mm. You know it, you know, UK, this is Jamaica. Right. Thank you so much for having us here. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to fire away a few questions. Okay. Put you on the hot seat. That's right. Make you feel a bit of heat, you know? <laughs> All right, so the first question here is, what age did you get into music and who inspired you? Well, what age I get into music? I've been in music since 1978. You know, I was born right here in Papine, in a community across the river near Kentire. This is my hometown, Papine Square. This is where I was born. 1978, I did my first stage show in Kentire at the community center. But I never get fully into music until like 1981 after the election, 1980 election. My brother being the general used to DJ. And I think I was better than him. <laughs> so I tried and I tried and you know. You never, give up. I never give up. You never give up. Never give up. That's the key, right? But you know, speaking about that, the whole thing to that. Mm -hmm. The whole career aspect of Major Mackerel started right here in Papine Square. I would say that this is where I really decide to be an artist. Right. I was standing right, you know, we inside this place now, so mm -hmm. I can show you, right at the corner right here. Yeah. Where the container was, uh -huh. is, yeah. there's a container right there with a restaurant in it. Yeah. Brigadier Jerry, you heard of legendary yes. Brigadier Jerry, yes. he has a little brother named Ike Jerry. Right. See me as a major mackerel. Mm -hmm. Every day you're there, Kentire DJ around the jukebox. Right. The song was playing. There was a police station right down in Tavern, right in the square, right down there. Yeah. And a song was playing in the police station yard. Okay. And he said, Why you don't go down there for DJ? Mm -hmm. I go down there. And when I went, let me give me the mic. The first lyrics me DJ me, you go, go, go. <laughs> me drop the mic and run. Oh. Me never shoot the dance, I shoot up. Never right. never salute, never salute me and an applause me. And right. Then the other night now, me they are Kentai and me, uh, the man who won the song named Wire, mm -hmm. King Muzzle. The other night, which is a Saturday night, 
Missing Drive for McIntyre. And I'm saying, um, my son, a player one place named Red Light. And I say, um, you will go. So you want me to come and I say, yeah, I'm going to go up there. I'm a DJ and DJ the whole night. But guess what? I that night, I'm a Mickey and my heart. You see? Yes. That night, I get my first girlfriend. Because I never have no girlfriend. I don't believe that. No girl never liked me. You know what it is like to have your first girlfriend mm -hmm. and sleep in a bed with mm -hmm. her? One week, yeah. then we decide that so this is where we love. Right. You know? So right. that was from 1981 coming into 82. Okay. I really decided to be a musician. Nice. And my inspirer mm -hmm. is Ike Jerry, right. so the brother of Brigadier Jerry. Okay. And I have a bigger brother whose name is Bindi General. Right. I don't know if you hear Vibes Cartel did a song said, Come rush me now, touch a button yes. now. Uh, my brother did the original version right. for that. There you go people, but you never knew that. Yeah, that was yeah. my brother's song, right. original. Vibes Cartel did it over. Okay. Make, him, make my brother a lot of money too, yes. because his publishing was right. Right, right, nice. Okay, so I'd like to know, what was the first single that you ever bought yourself? Who, what artist was it? Was it a like a record yeah, that a I record, ever bought? Yeah, an album, a record. The first record I ever buy was one of my own records. Really? My first record oh, that wow. I did. Oh, wow. The first, first song that I did mm -hmm. wasn't a hit song. It never right. hit. Right. It was like famous. Mm -hmm. It was a song named Dung in Odyssey. Gone Dung in Odyssey. Well, as a mockery, me they live in Odyssey. Because the sea was nice and the sea was pretty. <laughs> Full of all, full of electric city Who provide the light Where the spotty groupie We are down in a DC Down in a DC Well as a mackerel We live a water bottom You have some fish right down They say them a money man The one named Parrot And him Fred Wenchman Parrot said that him Yeah, you know yes. But the song never hit Right, It right. never hit That was the first song I bought oh. It never hit Okay so, what's your favorite album by another artist? Um, Liberation by Chaboni Right. Nice. That's right. the best album I think. Yeah. They will come out of Jamaica, but a lot of people do not listen to it. <laughs> All around in the UK, find that album, Liberation by Bunny Wheeler. Chaboni Wheeler, the only living wheeler from the singing group singing part of the wheelers because the wheelers is full yes. section. You have the wheelers band mm -hmm. and you have Bob Marley and the wheelers. Yes. So yes. Jabi is the only living wheeler. So I'm right. asking you European. This album is named Liberation done by Bunny Livingston aka Jabi Dandada Jabonny Wheeler. Yes. Nice. Alright so what artists you like to work with and what artist would you like to work with? Well... And why? I want to know why. I'm going to surprise you. Are you? Alright. You know I'm a whole guy, right? You don't look old. No, I don't look old, but I'm whole in music. Yes, yes. And one job from 1978 to today is 2018. That's yes. 40 years now. Yes, yes. Doing one job. Mm. I love Alcala. Right. Popcorn. I don't know. I like the youth in the music. Yes. Because you see, as a whole yeah. man, yes. the only thing I have on right now that represents a big man is a cat. Yeah. But I like looking young. I wear jeans, sneakers, yes. t shirt, yes. cool. baseball cool. cap. Think some people in and, and, um, huh? Right now, I would like to do some recording with Alkaline. Okay. Yeah, I would like to do a song with Junior Bang. I like his, his head. Yes. He's in great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would like to do a song with my bar. Um, she's like mm -hmm. I'm going to work on those collaborations this year. Okay. You understand yes. me? Yeah. And, um, is, there, um, is there any particular artist that you've worked with in the past that you really enjoyed working with? Yeah, me, me, uh, me and Bob Tequila did a song. Mm -hmm. And um, me and this lady, I don't know if you remember, her name is Jennifer Laura. Yes, the name is Jennifer. Yeah, Jennifer Laura, we did a recording for King Jammies. Right. 
Stop mining your broken bed down. Come off of the bed and make with drip on the ground. Stop. It is a private affair. Mind the bed broke down and the neighbor never would stop. Rocky bed. Come off of the neighbor would never would be the bad top. Private affair, mind the bed. Woman, woman, and only coolie, you and the man a play. On a can't play no more. Come off of the bed, you no go play from the floor. Reach from the floor, and the guy starts snore. Burn him up with pot water on the bread that through your door. Go look for your long time, man, a put more. You find the little man, the man where you have the cure. The man where you have the cure, for you never bet a number one star. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Jennifer Lara. Right. Yeah, that song was a great song coming in Europe. Alright, so when was the last event that you played? The last event I played was last Saturday night in the Grey, mm -hmm. Roots Bamboo. Right. Roots right. Bamboo, we do a lot of shows in the country, you okay. know. Um, the country people them in Jamaica, a lot of them don't advertise and read. Yes, yes. They have their yearly event, their annual event. And they Keep them things for a lot of artists in Jamaica, for example, Peter Metro, Yellow Man. Yes. So it's people over here, mm -hmm. Yellow Man, I'm sure. But Yellow Man is in Negro every two weeks. Yeah. You know, they don't want your Peter Metro, they don't want your Jersey Wheel, I'm sure, but they're all around the island. Yes. Working, you know? Okay. All right. So, like you said, you've got over 40 years yeah. of doing stuff in the music industry. Now, is there a particular moment that comes to mind that you remember as being one of the most memorable times for you? Most memorable time? Yeah. When I went to the U.S. Embassy. Right. Uh, um, the 11th of February, 1987. Wow, you're good with your dates, you know. When I went to the U.S. Embassy, mm -hmm. and they said to me, what's your name? And I said, my name is Major, my, what my heart is name or my real name? They say your heart is name. Mm. And I said, my name is Major Macri. Mm. When I said Major Macri, every person that was on duty at that day in yes. the embassy yes. come around to see who is Major Macri. Right. Right. That's when I know I was going to America for the first time. Nice. Yes. That was the great. Second greatest moment mm -hmm. I saw in my first song Nice. Oh, that is beautiful. So, Very know, nice. Yeah. That's you know, nice. That should be the greatest moment, but I'm going to be real. Mm -hmm. Senior song should be the greatest thing. Yeah. But when I realized I finally was granted a U.S. visa, yes. that was wonderful. Right. Really that wonderful. is nice. Yes. yes. Alright, so say somebody doesn't know about Major Macri and there was to ask you, what's your music about? Describe it, what would you say? Well, my music has no colours, it has no barriers, it has no religion and it has no power. Music is like water. Mm. You take the shape, frame and colour of wherever it presents itself. Very nice. Yes. You understand yes. me? Yes. So I am not religious. Mm. I am not the man who's going to tell you if you don't love Celestia, you'll be dead. I'm not that. Yeah. I think the Christian to live, mm -hmm. the Muslim to live. Mm -hmm. I think the Jews to live, everybody to live. We are one people. Yes. Yes. See, I have no form of segregation in me. Mm -hmm. See, I think the Western Hemisphere belongs to the Indian nation. Mm -hmm. The European part of the world belongs to the Caucasian. Mm -hmm. The Asia for the Asian yes. and the Africa for the Africans. Yes. But we are all one people, you know where we are. You don't have four lungs. Mm -hmm. You only got two, two. like me. That's right. You know, That's right. It doesn't matter. Anywhere yes. you go, everybody in the world has two lungs. Mm -hmm. And have blood the same and color. Blood, yeah. well. and, and we scared, yeah. when we scared, we scared the same, same way. way. We sleep, we mm -hmm. sleep the same way. We True. eat, we eat the same way. We wear the same clothes. I just think. People are people and love are the answer mm -hmm. for this world epidemic question. Yes, yes. 
nice and cooked. Yeah. Alright, so someone has asked you um, which artists out there, I mean, you are a unique artist in your own stuff in terms of what you do, a veteran of what you do. But if you still be compared to three other artists, who would you say and why? Tommy Lee. Right deep style. style in there. Yes. Tiger. Tiger, yes. He come mm. Yes. Original. Yeah. I respect people with trademark. Mm. When you hear Tyler, you know say that's a Tyler. Right, yes. When you hear he come out, mm -hmm. you sure that's he come out. Yes. When you hear Tommy Lee, you sure that's Tommy Lee. Right. Likewise, Alkaline. Yes, yes. Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. so, you see, global, you know? Global, you know? So, if you name three other types other than reggae, you know, what other types of music do you like? Young dumb broke a school kid. Da 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 na da na. You know that song? I don't know that one. No. Young dumb broke a school kid. Okay. It's an American song. Right. I know he's thinking of me. Right. Okay. I love. I like. I like the American song. Right. Okay. And um, I'm gonna say something to you mm -hmm. that might surprise you. I don't like a few of this British singer uh, Elton John. Right. I yes. listen to a few of the songs. Okay. I like rhythm and blues. Mm -hmm. I like the South, South America, uh, not South. Like the, the New York, the America, mm -hmm. the Southern part right. of yes. the blues. Yes. The blues. Yeah, the yeah. East, mm -hmm. the West, the North, and the South. Mm -hmm. Blues is from the South. Okay. And I like hip hop. Right. I like R and B. I, like too. I love Calypso music. Right. You know something I like all music. Yes. Every music is music. Right. And it's the same music. Doesn't have no color, mm -hmm. no shape, yeah. no form. So you have to love all of them. That's true. Okay. So other than doing music, what other jobs did you do growing up? Growing up, yes. yeah, one time I tried to be a mechanic. Okay. And next time I was, um, was doing construction, mm -hmm. labor work. Yeah. And next time I was um, working as working in a um, grocery store. Okay. What you would call in America, in England, a half license. Right. The half so, license. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So something like that. But I never like working for nobody. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I never like you have to get up seven o'clock. True. And and go open the place and sweep the this and do that and I never like doing that. Yeah. You like to be your own boss. I like to be my own boss. And That's I find right. that comfort in music. Yes. And uh, I try my best to stay current, mm -hmm. stay uh, in what's happening. Yes. You know? Yeah. I, I, I wave my hand. Yeah. The sun is setting mm -hmm. on our time as veteran artists. Yes. And it's rising on some new youths now. Mm -hmm. yes. Understand me? Mm -hmm. But uh, I still got a little fire in the furnace, you know? Yes. So I'm saying, uh, yes. I ain't gonna really pull up the cell phone. No, but at the same time, we have a next piece. Mm -hmm. And we are for the new generation. Yes. Because yes. this life is not going to end. Mm -hmm. Anywhere you go, you're going to see three things mm -hmm. man, woman, and child. Yes. Yes. All right? Yes. So, you don't know the thing. Right? Yes. Life without right. So, through your journey in life, and your musical journey even, is there anything you ever think about that you went back? Do yeah. See, I'm paralyzed right now. I'm just showing you. Right. You would show this in this shop. A man chopped me in America with a sword for his wife. Wow. Feel seven day with his wife. I mean, never there with her, you know. Mm -hmm. Me and me, Major Mark, with the celebrity bar, celebrity king. Yeah, my crew named Celebrity Crew. Me start that. Me and my friend there. Mm -hmm. 
a man trapped me in America with a sword. And if I could relive that Sunday morning, I would have run from that. You know? Really, I would have run. But such is life, you know? I was injured real bad. This arm is like this. Right, yeah. And um, wrongfully accused. You know, I owe nobody no apology nor no obligation. If I was in a relationship with the woman I was, I was not. I'm going to tell you the truth, I'm referring to them with that. And me get the blame. So I just take the blame. Then I watch me and I watch my friend. My friend I go in at the house and me now go in there. So if I could have relived my life, yeah. probably I would have been with her. Because yeah. to get hurt yeah. for something you don't do, I better me do it and get hurt. Than don't do it and, and, and get hurt. Well, I have, I have total regret for this, you know? Right. This is not me, the whole of Papi in Jamaica, the whole world know me a friend. physical, yes. not with one, you know, but I'm still here. Yes, See? yes, we can talk to that. Yeah. Alright, so what are you listening to lately? What have you been listening to over the last week or two? Let me tell you about Champion Boy. No, 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 yeah, I love the youth, them. Yeah. Pop time, Tommy Lee. Mm -hmm. Alkaline, I'm a DJ. I love that little youth, eh? Yeah. White Star tell me think he's the baddest DJ we ever walk yes. on the earth. Papa Son is one of them. Baby yes. Wayne Skellawa is one of them. And Europe, I love some DJ from Europe, you know. I don't hear much about them no more. I love Daddy Rusty. I love Tipper Irie. Yeah. Philip Levi. See, I love them youth there, you know? See, come and them youth they used to run up and down in the 80s, early 90s, throughout England, throughout the Caribbean, North and South America. And, but otherwise, me love the youth them. Give me Alkaline and Popcorn and Tommy and I do and Busy Signal and, you know? I like them, nice. I love them, you know? Nice. All right. Which songs of yours would you say you're most proud of? Uh, I would say the first, the song of both Forget Me Famous, Dan Bam. Mm -hmm. Oh, she Dan Bam, Dan Pochi. Dan Bam, who know she? Me a Jama Corel, Abby Dan. Come in a dance, from the session. Pick up in my session of fear. Why a boy did never hold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the song, Dan right. you know, But the way I sang that, you have a song in Pretty Looks Dumb. Yes. It's the strongest song that I did. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest song I did. Right. Pretty Looks Dumb. Yeah. And then one year, Lottie Bobby. Was it something that happened? Yeah, yeah. Was something, what was behind that song? I was in London and I called Jamaica. And they tell me um, there's this program going on on TV. Mm -hmm with this man named Shaka Zulu. Right. Um, in Jamaica, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Most of the artists, the hear on, on, on record. Right. Most of us leave school from grade six, yep. seven, mm -hmm. grade eight, grade eight. Right. Right. So, we are not fully school educated, mm -hmm. but we are street knowledge wise. That's right. I never heard of this movie near Roots. Yes, I have. I, I never heard of it. And I never heard of it. That was the first time they presented right. it to me. Right. I never heard of no one named Shaka Zulu. Right. Right. When I did the song, then I came back to Jamaica and I did a research on who Shaka Zulu. <laughs> Probably if I had known that man was so great, mm -hmm. I wouldn't put him in the song in the terminology okay. of where I put it. But in the song is that your favorite shaka zulu, your favorite shaka zulu, that means you're something on you. Right. Alright? Yes. But yes. He, he probably be a ugly face. Mm -hmm. But he was fighting for a cause. He was, yes. Understand me? Yes. And I respect all those great leaders mm -hmm. before me. 
present and those who are to come, as long as they are a great leader, I respect people like that. But um, I was inspired to do Shaka Zulu while I was in England. I called him Joshua Blanc on TV in Shaka Zulu. Man, how they are wicked, that's all I heard. So I made the song, come back when I reached I came from England on Sunday night, yeah. went to King James in Monday morning, mm -hmm. recorded the song, and by Wednesday it was released, mixed, mastered, and released on the radio. Mm -hmm. Then moved to Baruka, yeah. get involved with it, and said, Me, I'm discriminating black people. Right. And they banned the song from the radio. But so they banned the song now, 1988, they banned it in a March. Not to all my things there. I don't write nothing in there. I don't write music. Never take pen and paper and write music. If you have to write it and you can't retain it, it's not true. Alright? Not even Bob Marley. Bob Marley didn't write it. You retain it. That's good. You understand? See, education is not what we learn, it's what we remember. That's true. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nice. So, if you were a musician, what else do you think you would have been doing? If me wasn't a musician, yes. What else do you think? Why me not know you know? Because me not know for the non music. I don't know how to do anything else. I, I don't know how to mix concrete. I don't know how to drive a nail. I don't know what would I do. Right. But I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I really, really like the mechanic thing, you know? Yeah. So probably mm -hmm. I would have pursued a career in mechanic. Because right. I really like that. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I know you've done it for 40 years and you yeah. are a pro, but is it, has there been times where you get a little bit nervous? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, some man. Every time I go on stage, I mean, no, it's a man does one yeah. I keep it and just done work. And Major Macrilla come up next. What? <laughs> I can't, I can't no, imagine it's still that. all of us as artists. Yes. Every yes. single artist. You see, before you go on stage, you yeah. have the butterflies. Yes. yes. When you go up there and the crowd give you that respond, you relax now. When you're comfortable, you're in your comfort zone. Yeah. All right, this is my living room. I own it. Yeah. I pay the bills here. Yeah. Like, Margaret, yes. property tax, yes. they deal with it like that. Mm -hmm. This is my shoes and me I put it on. Right. Right. But before you reach to the yes. stage, mm -hmm. yeah, man, every artist has mm -hmm. So say you make a little mistake or a little error, how do you deal with that? You had a how do you deal with something? it? it <laughs> you make a mistake, it all depends on where you are in the lyrics. Right. What part of the song it is. Mm -hmm. But to me, DJ with style, yes. I have DJ with lyrics, but I still I DJ with style. Yes. So if I make a mistake, I can put my style in it and correct me say, catch back the rhythm down there, so right. I make it sound now. Yeah. And next man, the DJ is straight without a style. He have a problem, because mm -hmm. when he mess up, he mess up. Yeah. Yeah. So like you were saying, you know, you really like the young youth coming up and other coming artists. Say, you know, what kind of advice would you give to someone that's a beginner in music and they're looking to go into music and work their way up? Kind of well, music now and music in my time is different. In the 80s, early 90s, come up to 95, 96, talent sell. Right now in music is what your money can buy. If you notice in Jamaica for the last 10 years, is like five or six new artists boss. Yes. And they are hard to see every better than being a man. Better than Bounty Killer, better than me, better than Vibes Cartel. But them don't have no money and no support behind them. See, we have some bad, bad DJ on this year, yes. we are in Papi. Right. We have great, great artists here, but they do not have no money. Yeah. And they do not have a gunman friend. A boss, a general. You see, a lot of people live outside of Jamaica and do not understand exactly what's going on inside Jamaica. You understand? 
Malawi ni kuhuni. Amanda imstira diji. Ndia yuo kwa kituwi. And just now perform in Jamaica. Because, you know, when I look at the radio man, this is the clear song. And there you go, and England, a radio man said, give me two jingles, my man. And I want to. If you want to want to want two jingles, and I'm clear the song, and make you feel right. In Jamaica, they might tell you how much you thousand this and that time. Where you feel the song, where you know, feel the but right now, the music and the music and when you love it, mm -hmm. you will do anything to stay there. Yes. So I'm, I'm one of those persons that... Put it this way, in music, a truck run over my head, mm -hmm. but I just can't remember today. Right. I'm not quitting. I'm not a quitter. Right, that's good. See what I'm saying? That's key, but I when I, to quit. Yeah, right. when I am... Um, the whole of them are so dead. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of life left up here so. Still have a child. So for all the youth from out here in this music, I've been turned back, get door closed for me. Disrespect, dishonor, work. I fly to England already for the three shows. And when I done the second show, that was for the success. The two show, first show was very successful. When I finish the second show, I go see the promoter up until today. Yeah. Yeah. We run down a lot of the money. So, what I'm saying is this. If it's a money thing you get from music and your team. If you love that something, you have to stick it out to the end. To the very end. Don't stop your music. Don't put no one above you and make no one think they can stop you from being what you is. But listen to me, you know, people, artists, selector, soul man, songwriter, record producers from all ethnic music background. I'm talking every producer in the world, every artist. Every upcoming artist, every selector, and every song. Life has some nice, nice, bad mind people in you know. it. Some wonderful, bad mind people. Some nowadays Judas. Some Barabbas of today. Alright, but in this life you have to learn to swim with sharks. In, in Jamaica, they have one saying, say you have to creep before you are. Alright? So why you creeping? Just go on creep. And at the same time, don't try to creep too long. Try to practice yourself the world. See, now remember this. It's great when a man gives you a hundred fish. But it's better when you go to the sea and catch two for yourself. Understand? Don't quit. Never give up. Yeah. Right, so my last and final question. Is no. <laughs> you know what? I can go on and on because I can I chat. Have a I can <laughs> chat. I ain't going nowhere. I have one girlfriend. She's a tall, short, slim, fat, dark, brown, cheap, lovely girl. I mean, I want nobody else but her, and she's at work. <laughs> and Rory Cole is visiting Jamaica from the UK. So I'm not really long now, but if you have to finish, you have to finish. Alright, so this question is not about music. Yeah. This is just a question. And I've just thought because I want to ask you. education be the priority. There's a lot of children in Jamaica not going to school. 
education would be my number one priority. And a lot of people don't know this. 75% of the population in Jamaica, over 50, is illiterate. Over 50. When you listen to me, you know, 70 to 75 percent of our people here in Jamaica, over 50, is illiterate. You understand me? So I would make education be my first priority. I would have programs to teach people over 50 how to use computers. I would have better healthcare system for the people of the country. That I want. Two, crime and violence in Jamaica is terrible. All right? It's not happening in Kingston. The one time it was Kingston, now it's Montague, Hanover, and Westmoreland. The year just started, today is the 18th or the 19th of this month. And over 50 people dead already. Violently. I'm not talking accidentally. I'm talking violently. I would clean up the crime rate in Jamaica. How you clean up Jamaica crime rate? The first place you have to clean is the police force. So we have to clean up the police force first. Then we put some real people in there we want with the team. And, 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 and then we clean up the crime rate. The crime rate is terrible in Jamaica. Okay? That is number two. Number three. We need better health insurance to the people them who cannot afford it. All right, we need more, better, the minister of health we need better, better insurance for the people there. The Minister of Education, you need to make that be your priority instead of something that you collect a paycheck off for every three months or four months. You have a country to run. The future of our country is within your hand. Mr. Minister of Education, please make sure you educate the youth of Jamaica. Take the youth them from the stoplight but from being school, then they are stoplight a white car glass. Move them up. Find them parents. See? And the next thing we need to address in Jamaica here, the fathers then. When them get the woman, them pregnant, and them and the lady, the relationship finish. When them left the woman, them left them children. See, and this is not only Jamaica, it's a world epidemic. Because everywhere you go, is mommy and her baby. See, but as one of no ladies, a daddy's maybe, but it's always mommy's baby. The man them need to play a more active role in other children's life. The woman them need to stop using the children them as weapon against the man them. And people just need to LWL. You know what is LWL? Live with love. Yeah? Live with love. But that are my three things I mean like. Clean up the country crime rate, education policy, and the health and the welfare reform need to reconstruct it. Yeah? So a lot of people out there I see Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaica nice when you live in Europe. It's nice to meet your mackerel and be the man and bounty killer. The man them where we think can afford it. But for the regular man, it's all no nice. See? It is not nice. So we are asking all our leaders. See? Jamaica leaders and all the political leaders of the world. All the world is in a uno hand. We have been uno. 
make the people them be pariety. Yeah? And last but not least, see the President of America when he and Donald Trump, mm -hmm. if I ever hold him this year, Don't like a man, they're not the right. Clean up your heart, you're a Donald. Remember, say, the illegal immigrant came in America, did a work for you, you know. No for them, did a work for you. And them, the illegal. And then, you have tried to deport and send no man do this and do that. Me glad me left America, me never get deport. I me leave before you turn president because I dream see you turn president and I never want that your regime. See? Watch yourself, Donald Trump. You act like a punk. See? Man, to you from down a jungle hole, you have here some punk, some kicker, some black blood. See? You care, Major Macrill, my name. Yes. See? One love, one God, one name, one destiny. Love is the way, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. So, so on behalf of Johnson Clare, myself, I'm really Kuli. Yeah. Many, many thanks. It's a real pleasure to have this time with you to speak with you and get an insight of what goes on in your head. So yeah. thank you for sharing and so far, yeah. I have somebody I want to big up. We are never big up in our whole interview. Yeah. Dancing Clare, Major Mac, we love you for life. You can't trust me with your daughter and your wife. But your niece and your cousin have a new...